I promised myself I was going to deal with ocean issues. And it's really hard. It took me six months to come up with an approach to even thinking about it. Like, how do you, I don't want to do wildland, you know. How, do, how can I be dispassionate about these creatures? Because I, I don't want to make nature art that's, you know, lions in the sunset and all that kind of stuff. I'm doing it for a different reason. I want it to last. And I also build it so that I can let projects like this use the images to have projects like this happen. This is a record that was made by, and now I can't, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't even see who it was done by. Apologies. But it's recordings of animals that are on the rise and animals that are on the descent. So I like using these images for, for political purposes. Um, so, okay, so back to oceans. They're huge. How am I ever going to parse it? You know, all the other things I've had, like a logical pathway to get to the subject matter. And oceans, are, they're so big and overwhelming. And all the creatures have all these body parts, and I don't know what they're for. Um, so I decided that the rubric would be, they need to be everywhere. They need to be plentiful. They need to be in all the oceans. And they need to be relatively unknown by the general populace. And that's a good thing. I can contribute that. So nudibranchs was the first one I decided to do. Um, it, I spent about... I don't know, at least a year learning about them before I even start painting. Every nudibranch is a hermaphrodite. They have both sets of equipment. This is two sort of standard nudibranchs mating. They will both go off and lay eggs. Uh, so they have both, both sets. Um, and they, can, they practice protandry, so they don't have to be the same age bracket. They can be, there can be a great big one and a small one of the same species. And that's because they have a really hard time finding each other. Um, another sidetrack to that is that nudibranch penises are really weird. <laughs> There's lots of barbs and little cups and things, and every species is entirely different. And they're all kind of designed so that, OK, we're together. We're not going to let the tide blow us apart. Um, and that's when I found out about penile fencing. So, these are actually head shield slugs. They're still in the osteobranch group, very similar group. Um, H is the head. So we'll talk about the lower animal because the other one's been turned into a female. Um, the, the penis goes in like they do with all of them. They go side to side. But where they fence is with this second, it's sort of like a double a Y-shaped thing. The one on the right, the S thing, is a, like a hypodermic needle. And that's the part they fence with. They're each trying to stab the other guy in the foot. And the first guy who stabs, they inject a hormone, which makes the person who got injected first turn into a female. Um, I mean, the world is so much stranger than I even give it credit for. And I see a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> 